Preschool children need time to play outside every day. Outdoor play gives children the opportunity to develop gross motor skills, engage in unstructured social play with their peers, and manage their emotions. But how important is outdoor play for children's academic learning? New research from the Center for Early Childhood Education suggests that outdoor play affects children's on-task behavior, which has significant implications for their learning. On-task behavior, uh, at least for older children, has been found to be associated with academic achievement, self-regulation, attention, working memory, things that are really important to learning. There's one brain study that finds that a single dose of activity for older children has an impact on their brains. Children immediately after a single bout of exercise were more on task in their interactions in a group time setting. But these studies have been done primarily with elementary school age children. What's kind of missing are studies on preschool age children. My name is Allison Lundy. I'm a psychology and early childhood education double major. And for my thesis, I looked at the effect of outdoor play on children's on-task behavior during group time. We had a baseline and a treatment. So for the baseline, they had group time prior to going outside. So children were coded as either on-task or off-task. So on task would be maintaining eye contact, answering questions, um, listening to their peers, not shouting out. Whereas off task would be fiddling like with their shoe or their shirt, just not paying attention, having their head down. And then we took those scores and compared them to the scores for on task behavior following outdoor play. So children um, participated in about an hour long outdoor play session. And then following that, they came into the classroom for group time. And again, I coded their behavior as on task or off task. They can use the plane. The plane. Boys were more attentive um, during group time instruction after going outdoors and engaging in physical activity. So males benefited from going outside before sitting at group time. Children in poverty also benefited greatly from outdoor play just before group time. For the second part of the study, I looked at the effect of the level of physical activity on their on-task behavior. So that was um, measured one to three, one being low physical activity, so that was just like limb movement, so their body wasn't really moving. Um, examples of that would be like sitting on a swing but not actually pumping their legs or just standing around not doing anything. And then two was moderate activity, so that could be something like climbing or walking. And then a three would be high physical activity, so that would be like running, playing tag, and just biking really fast. So we found that the more active children were, the more on task they were during group time. They were better able to control their impulses and um, self-regulate. There are children who were sedentary, and in this particular study, they were then less likely to be on task uh, after an outdoor play experience um, than were their peers who really moved and ran and uh, chased and climbed and were active. There's a lot of research that talks about the boy crisis and how boys are really at risk for a number of reasons, but one of them is self-regulation. They tend to develop self-regulation um, more slow than girls. Um, they just have a harder time paying attention and kind of controlling themselves when um, listening to a teacher. So I think this study kind of shows that you have to be mindful of that in your teaching and kind of realize that children learn in different ways and kind of account for that in the classroom. Having them sit and listen for a prolonged period of time isn't necessarily beneficial. So providing movement breaks to help children um, get their energy out and stay on task. Cutting how long recess is is kind of counterproductive in a way because 
children need to go outside and kind of recharge and um, just get moving. And I think by cutting that, it just makes the inattention greater. Teachers should really think about when they schedule outdoor play. I think that strategically placing active outdoor play before important learning experiences really makes sense. Outdoor play just before group time makes sense. But I also even think that uh, strategically placing active outdoor play with learning centers where you want children to really focus and, and learn as they're, they're playing is also very important. I think the second thing that makes sense is for teachers to play a role in getting children moving outdoors because there was a clear uh, correlation between the amount of activity and the on-task behavior of children. Teachers should encourage their children to move, so if they see a group of children just standing around, kind of encouraging them to engage and play either with their peers or even themselves getting involved to kind of get them up and moving. The study suggests a kind of a strategy for supporting some children who may have more difficulty uh, focusing on learning experiences.